What's good with y'all? Scorps is a Scorpionic Sag, North and Rise of Terror and Center. Welcome to the channel. Y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you want to send me a donation, have a donations link in the description box below. It'd be greatly appreciated. This is going to be a current love situation. What's going on? Somebody that you could be in separation from or somebody that you're currently dealing with. Take it how it resonates, all right? Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio in their current love situation in November 2020? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This could be a karmic partner that you're dealing with, Scott. Karmic partner. Things not working out in your favor because of that. That's what I get from the bottom of the deck. What do we have for Scorpio's current love situation? Some of y'all can more than likely be dealing with a karmic. Yeah, no, no forward movement with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with one of those signs. The Six of Pentacles, you know what I immediately get from this, Scott? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. There's no forward movement right here because this person could more than likely be a karmic partner. This is a karmic cycle that hasn't ended yet, and it could be dealing with other people. Which is why there's no forward movement. What else do we have for Scott? Holy Spirit. Star card. Wish fulfillment. Hmm. Could be dealing with Aquarius. Whoa, both of these turned over. Oh, yeah. In reverse, too. Damn. Both of these turned over in reverse. You have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the four of wands. And you had the ten of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this connection right here, Scar. It's not working out. There is no wish fulfillment here. Which I don't know why the star showed up. Or maybe things could be coming to the light. That's the way I look at that. But the reason why these two cards is here. Is because this person is definitely given to other people. There's no stability here. There's no stability. There's no wish fulfillment. This person is definitely given to other people.
causing a lot of burdens in the connection. See, them cards are flying out now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be a lot of burdens. A lot, a lot of burdens. I guess so. If they're dealing with other people, they're going to be carrying that around because, look. Look at this. What else do we have for Scorpio November 2020 in their current love situation or somebody that could be in, they could be in separation with? That hit me hard, bro. Look, even though I'm guarded, man, like my energy's protected, that shit hit me so damn hard, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is cheating. There is cheating. You have the Seven of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and you have a false flame. This is a false soulmate. And this is what's causing major instability. There's no stability there. Due to this. I'm telling due to this. Look at this right here. There's no forward movement. But there is a lot of burdens due to this. That stuff hit me hard, bro. Somebody could have been mirroring your energy, Scorpio. Somebody could have been, I'm not, I ain't going to say a narcissist, but somebody could have been mirroring your energy. They could have been mirroring your energy. They could have come across as a star like, oh yeah, that's my wish fulfillment, but look what ended up happening. You have both of these, the four wands, and you have the ten of pentacles in reverse. No stability at all due to this energy right here. The six of pentacles given to other people. I'm going to give to my Scorpio right here. I'm going to give to somebody else. I see a third party situation right here. One, two, three. Third party. Exactly what it is. Cheating. Cheating, cheating, cheating. False soulmate. And this is burdening you, Scorpio. Like, this is this is hurting you a lot. Like, you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders right now. Y'all, I know the energy's getting tense, but I'm telling you, when these two cards fell out the same at the same time, that energy just... <sighs> This is not my reality. I am the reader, okay? My energy is protected, but I can feel it, bro. Now, y'all seen that. I'm glad you mentioned that, that karmic, for real. Yeah, G, on the bottom of the deck. That's exactly what that meant. That was a karmic situation. That's It's lining up. Look at it. It's lining up. This is a karmic partner, Scott. This is a karmic situation. Look at this. Because they're a cheater. They're a cheater. This could be somebody that you're in separation from right now. That's what I'm picking up on. This person could definitely be a cheater. Oh, yeah, they are. And this is causing a lot of burdens for you, Scorpio. A lot of burdens. A lot, a lot, a lot of burdens. You feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, man. This is a false soulmate. Busted. Seven of Swords in reverse. False flame. Look. Look at it. Look at it. You have the two right here in reverse. You have the two right here in reverse. You could have been seeing 1111. You could have been seeing 1111 a lot. But for the wrong type of synchronicity, it was trying to warn you. If you've been seeing 11 a lot, it was trying to warn you. Because that's how the spirit room connects with us. That's how they communicate with us. They could have been sending you warning signs, Scar. Pay attention. I know my energy shifted, but they come across as this, man. They come across as this star energy. But look what they was doing. And this is what caused this. Right here. 
a breakup. Y'all could have been committed to one another. You could have been engaged to one another. Same thing. You could have even been married to this person. Take it how it resonates. Take your situation for how it resonates. They come across as the star energy, but what's lurking beyond it was this. It was deceitful energy. That's exactly what it is. They try to betray themselves to be a star. Like, oh yeah, I'm your wish fulfillment, but yet they lying. They masquerading themselves as something that they're not trying to mirror your energy. That's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what went on. Trying to mirror your energy. Come across as this. But yet, look what's lurking. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Y'all, I hate doing reads like this for y'all. But this is what's coming out, okay? Both of these cards come out at the same time. I know y'all seen that. Both of them come out at the same time. I used to not choose two cards. I used to put them back. But if they fall out, if it's not more than two, okay, then yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and pull them. But y'all seen these cards fall out at the same time. Y'all seen me shuffle that deck. And this is a live stream, by the way, on my Instagram. If y'all want to add me at Zen Genesis 93 Zen underscore Genesis 93 if y'all want to add me. This is a live stream. This is live. I'm sorry, Scarps. Those out there that's going through the situation, I'm sorry. I could feel some of y'all hurting, man. Like y'all pain is just, I could feel it in these cards from this. I know it's not my situation, but I've been through stuff like this. I've been through that before. Five times. Five times, to be exact. I've been through it. I sent a bunch of, I, look, I sent a whole, I sent a whole, excuse the hiccup there. I sent a whole shit ton of protection y'all way. I grant y'all 100,000% protection and shielding energy from these type of people. I'm not going to be a tarot reader that's just going to read the cards and I'll show love or concern for y'all. I'm going to grant y'all 100,000% shielding and protective energy from people like this. Archangel Michael, slice the energetic cards from these people's aura. Cut it completely off. So they can heal. I know Scorpios are hurting. I know they're hurting. I feel it. Even though the, the Three of Swords is not here, this is burdening Scarp a lot. This is this is weighing heavy on Scorpio, Archangel Michael. Once again, Scarps, I'm sorry y'all going through this, man. If y'all looking for answers, you can't really rely on a tarot read because this could resonate with somebody identical to your situation. Sneaky. Cheating. Especially reverse stands for cheating because of this right here. Three people. You have one, two, three. Even though it's six of pentacles, still though, you have three people in that picture. Three people. Even though that could be your person, but it's still three people. It still shows three people in that picture. Try to masquerade themselves as your soulmate by mirroring your energy, but deceiving you at the same time. Trying to come about as, hey, I'm the star. I'm your wish fulfillment. Lying the whole damn time. Lying. Like you could have caught this person in numerous amounts of lies. That's what I'm picking up on. You could have caught this person in numerous amounts of lies. Numerous amount of lies. That's what I mean. Talking kind of fast. You could have caught this person. I'm, I'm telling you. What else do we have for Scorpio's current love situation from ones that they could be in separation from or their situation as of now?
the Queen of Pentacles. I see some of y'all being alone, Scar. I see some of y'all being alone, focusing on your stability. Even though it may be hard on y'all right now, I see y'all focusing on your stability, keeping yourself stable as much as possible. Due to all of this that y'all carrying around with y'all. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Secrets coming up and surfacing. I don't want to seem like I'm repeating myself from the last read that I did. Okay, with a third party. This stands for secrets coming up. Surfacing. You could have found out about this, Scorpio. You could have found out about this situation. That's exactly what I'm getting. You could have found out about this situation. Because that's why you're carrying all of this around. This connection right here has put a lot on your shoulders. What else do we have for Scorpio's current love situation that they could be in separation from or dealing with? November 2020. Exactly. Exactly. This person wasn't ready to grow up. That's exactly what I get from this card. That's the that's the exact saying that has went through my head. They weren't ready to grow up. Very, 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 very immature. This person could have possibly gaslighted you the majority of the time. They could have possibly gaslighted you. When you catch on to something, you just feel something, you call them on something, they gaslight you. I don't get narcissist energy from here because people could be cheaters without being a narcissist. I don't have narcissistic energy here. This, this person was just straight up cheater, dude. Sneaking around with these other people. While mirroring your energy at the same time. Trying to come across as a soulmate. Trying to pretend that they're your wish fulfillment. I guess not. How the hell are you going to be somebody's wish fulfillment when you all up in the seven swords energy? Even though I'm the reader, y'all, some of these reads, the energies could get powerful. I'm telling y'all, I could get powerful. Just like when those two cards fell out the deck at the same time. I'm telling y'all, bro, that stuff hit me like... Phew. My mood instantly changed. I started getting irritated. I started feeling Scorpio's pain, too. Because that explains this, the Ten of Wands. Now I know why. Due to somebody that wasn't ready to grow the hell up. Some of y'all could have been seeing 11-11 a lot. Trying to give y'all a warning from the spirit realm. This is a warning. Okay? Because of this. Right here. Hold on. That's not good energy at all, Scar. That is not good energy at all. This person. No. This person was definitely messing around. They was definitely messing around. Because they wasn't ready to grow up. I'm getting this person was very argumentative. Start things out of nothing. Just a random argument would break out for nothing. Yeah. Why? To use it as an excuse to get in this energy to deal with other people. It's 
start an argument out of nothing. Now, that don't necessarily have to stand for y'all's situation. There, there could be no arguing that was involved. I'm just saying. I'm putting that out there. That's a storyline that's going through my head. To start something for nothing just so they could get in this energy right here because they knew they was in this energy. It made them feel guilty so they could start an argument with you so they could go out there, run out there and deal with other people. As an excuse. Oh, well, you treat me bad. Yeah, so that's going to give me an excuse to go cheat. There's no excuses for cheating. There's absolutely no excuses for cheating. This is not my situation, though, so I can't pass judgments on anybody. It's not my situation. I could care less about this person. I'm just going to be real with y'all. But my scarps, I care about y'all. Especially the ones that know that they have a loyal heart, I care about y'all. That's why I send protection y'all way. That's why I send shielding energy y'all way 100,000% into your reality. You're going to be shielded. You're going to have the love of your life. You're going to have every damn thing that you ever wanted. Now nah, you can stamp that. That's what the universe is going to grant y'all with. I'm speaking with passion. I'm speaking with confidence. When you're powerful, bro, you're going to use that power in the right type of way. And you're going to manifest that positivity into those other people's lives that deserve somebody that is going to give them stability. Not this half-ass type of loyalty. Half-ass loyalty. Yeah, I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to I'm going to masquerade myself as a star. Oh, yeah, I'm going to masquerade myself as uh, Scorpio's wish fulfillment. But I'm out here running around with the sneaky energy. I'm sitting here having a split loyalty. Yeah, I might as well just mirror the energy at the same time. Yeah. Man. To the scarps out there, even to the unevolved scarps, if you know you ain't did this person nothing wrong, even if you was arguing with this person and this person still chose to cheat on you, it is not your fault. It's not your fault. Bro, I've been in plain relations where the old lady would argue with me or whatever, and I wouldn't go out there and mess her over. There's no excuses. This is an action that is committed. There's no excuses for that, y'all. When cheaters are caught, their first reaction is not a positive one. They're not going to admit to it. If you're dealing with a narc, oh, they're damn, they, they ain't going to admit to it. They're going to try to make an excuse. They're going to try to make an excuse for their cheating acts, their cheating ways. Oh, well, I did this because you was like this. No, you did this because you wanted to do that. That's what I have for y'all, Scorpio. Take this how it resonates. This is not going to resonate with all Scorpios. Some, some people could be going through identi identical situation. Okay? And it could go for them, not you. But that's all I'm going to put out there, Scarps. Uh, God bless y'all, man. God bless y'all. Y'all keep your head up. Know the Holy Spirit is with you. Know the Almighty Jesus Christ is with you. If you believe in Him, I don't care if you don't believe in Him or not. I believe in Him 100,000%. So, I'm going to send Him y'all away. Along with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Raphael, Raphael, or however you say that, I'm going to send those archangels y'all away with the almighty Jesus Christ so y'all can heal, okay? Archangel R, what I said, Raphael, him right there, he could deliver that healing energy. So, God bless y'all, Scarps. Um, I hate to do reads like this, just like I tell y'all, I hate to do reads like this, but... I got to be real with y'all. You know what I'm saying? 
I got to be real. I'm just a reader. I'm not the one in the situation. I'm not going to judge people like this because I don't really know it. I don't really know the situation. I read the energy off the cards and it's up to y'all to interpret what I'm saying in this video in order for it to fit the description of your situation. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all take it easy out there, Scars, man. Much love to y'all. If y'all want to donate, I have a link in the description box below. It would be greatly appreciated. But uh, till next time, peace.